and we say how awful but that two three dollars an hour is a lot of money for these folks it's more money than they probably seen in their whole life what appears to be our loss is their gain but that's not the whole story because their gain is also our gain first of all the companies remain viable they don't go bankrupt if they are to stay in the united states they will go bankrupt because they just cannot pay the cost of the equipment the maintenance and of course labor so companies whether it's general motor ford nike ge and so on they remain viable they remain on wall street as profitable uh, companies second of all doesn't necessarily and practically never does really undermine the american economy because what happens is that the manufacturing aspect or part of this companies is only a small portion believe it or not of the company itself and they're usually the dirtier and the lower paying portion of the company the good jobs the research and development the distribution the sales insurance and so on remain in the united states so the employees of american companies that work in these good jobs these high paying jobs where individuals work in air conditioned offices they keep their job many times the blue collar workers that may have lost their job they can be retrained to do other type of work and i've seen it myself where individuals lose their job and they get office jobs which is a good thing so the idea that somehow sending manufacturing somewhere else is bad for the economy it's not true in fact it's a good thing in fact it's a preferred thing because nobody really certainly not in the west prefers to work in factories anymore where the work is dangerous it's dirty and of course it has many health hazards such as asbestos all kinds of fumes and so on noise pollution and what have you so when jobs go overseas it's actually a good thing and we ought to encourage it and you should never believe the politicians when they say it's a bad thing because again it keeps the company viable it keeps the work of the white collar workers that work in the united states keeps their wages high and safe and it makes the company profitable and keep in mind that the manufacturing is only a small portion of any company's workforce for instance nike manufactures all of its shoes overseas but again all the good jobs are in the united states nike's manufacturing employees are about 10 percent so 90 percent of nike's employees are in the united states 